Hello there, Bob Sahya. When it comes to looks, Kido is a pretty goddamn ugly game engine. But in today's video, that might change for you. Today we have something called the Kido Minimal theme. This is a Kido theme developed by Passive Star on Blue Sky. I've been following him for a while and I've seen this theme and I've been using it for some time. At the very least since my last video. So today I want you to show how I switched to this theme and uh, if you want you can follow along and use this thing as your default theme. If you have seen the screenshots on the thumbnail, this is a project by Landerver. Landerver. I hope I pronounced that right. This is a Dune project by him which which creates the classic tune in Gido, which is a, as you can see, a pretty goddamn pretty stuff. Be sure to check them both out if you're interested and let's go. This is the GitHub repository where you can go ahead and download this as a zip. You can see some of the screenshots and how it looks. I think the theme is mostly more toward the Mac side. I am a Windows user, but it looks pretty good on my device. So, once you got the theme download, you should be able to go to your files and the place where you stored it. For me, it's right here. And uh, if you're still using the list view in Windows, like me, come on, grow up. You can export it here or, and you can get the folder here. You can open up your GitHub folder and just minimize it above here and drag and drop it into the project. Once that's done, you should be able to find it somewhere in the project. And you can see there is this file called minimalteam.tes. You, you should go able to go to editor, editor settings, and under theme, you will find box here that says custom theme. Find this icon right alongside it, click on it, and go ahead and locate your Gido minimal theme to folder. You should be able to select this and open it up. In a few seconds, your changes will apply. If that doesn't happen you should restart your device on that that happened we now want to change up the colors before taking a look at the final look if you go ahead and go to the github repository there is a recommended colors and the settings here let's go through them one by one first of all is the base color you should be able to copy this and go to the engine and paste this around here once you have done that the changes should apply in a few seconds or few milliseconds or whatever if you have entered a value you should play press enter to apply that value the theme is centered around a more of a dark colors so switching it should give you a pretty dramatic look then we'll get through the accent color the accent color is mostly the main thing that defines your engine's look as it affects the icons right here in the theme and the icons in the folder and all of the stuff in the inspector. Let's go ahead and paste the color from here. It's not so different from the default color, so you shouldn't feel any much changes if you're accustomed to the grey colors. If you close this right now you and select some of the objects in your scene, if you go ahead and select an object in a scene, and if you go ahead and select something, you can see that the general senses of the color have changed pretty dramatically when it comes to the looks. We should be able to go back to the editor settings and tweak some other settings that are available here. The icon saturation, as it suggests, saturates the icons. To me, 2 is actually a bit saturated than I would actually want it to be. So I would set it to a little bit of a less value of 1.7 i know not much big of a difference but less saturated icons is actually what i normally prefer for relation between line opacity you should keep it the same border size and the corner radius can be changed i prefer to keep it at maybe five it's kind of defines the rounding of corners so i think it's pretty all right to keep it at that base spacing and other settings should stay the same now that you've done that you are done with your ghetto minimal team now i don't know if you know this but if you're ghetto beginner and you start up ghetto this looks ugly but it's actually pretty easy to fix 
and that doesn't isn't actually the fault of Gitto's renderer, but just the default settings. So at the start of my Gitto journey, I always used to think that my video games will look ugly with this yellowish tint because Gitto has this tint by default or something, but it, it is actually set it up by on purpose as the ground color. You can actually change it and to make it look like other engines, maybe like Unity, you can make it black if you want whatever you want actually it can be easily changed to any color you actually desire i'd not rather ch not change this to anything but uh, just to, so you know it is actually possible of course you can just turn it off and make it look a bit better but uh, as i said it's completely up to you which colors you would like your crown to be and that's it for today's video and i hope this minimal team is to your liking i guess i think the icon saturation for me is a bit too low i think i did say i don't like much of a saturated icons but these ones are a bit less than i would want so i would go through and change this to two as it was recommended in the theme, theme settings you can just go ahead in the browser and go through these settings you can also change the main font to this font now I did download this font from this website so let me just go through and go to the page and let's click download. Keep in mind I'm downloading it through the link that being provided in the GitHub repository so it couldn't be my fault. But after downloading the font which will happen in a second you can open the file and uh, you should be able to find the folder which the font is inside. Make sure you choose the right format. The TTC format should be good. You, you can just open up the zip file and you can place it inside the, and uh, you should have the TT, TTC file. Go to editor, editor settings, and you can just search for main font. Under interface editor, interface editor, you should be able to find the main font. This is a TTC file that we got. We need the TTF file so this is the ttf file inner variable and let's just get this t the ttf file inside here. let's go to scenes and a minute with a minimal thing and let's select this file open it up and our main font should have should be changed just so any settings take apply save and reload the current save and reload and And there you go, you got your good old beautiful looking Gitto. I'm pretty sure Gitto is by default uses the inner font because there is no difference after changing the font. But to me this looks way more cleaner and somehow I think I can do way more work with this. I followed through the tweets and uh, the developer did want it to turn the toolbar into a floating menu just like this one. Uh, but maybe they just ended up uh, not doing that and maybe it's not even possible using themes i would love that i actually because this space is just going so much into waste but uh, the Gido editor does need a bit more improvements and i will scout the internet for more themes and plugins that improve the look for now i am content with the looks that i got right now and i'll see you guys in the next one